here is pretty special because we are talking about people who have an illness or, uh, you, you know, this is their health. <laughs> this isn't about selling, you, you know, an app or something that, you, you know, if it goes wrong, yeah, you might be disappointed, but it's not going to cause somebody to have a change in their health care. <laughs> and so patients first. Maybe sometimes the founder's the right person, particularly at the beginning, because they're so close to the innovation. But the openness to say, how do I just have the best people around this and let your ego be set aside? And even for me, I if we had continued with Calistoga, even though I have a commercial background, I was open to the idea that maybe I wasn't the best person to grow the company to a thousand person scale. Maybe that was somebody else. If you're a leader and you're trying to create a diverse team, it's really about you want a highly effective team. And you want to make it easy for people to participate and contribute. You don't want to make it hard. So if you sit around and talk about your fraternity, but the other people weren't in a fraternity, you're already building a wall. Thanks so much for joining us. Please be sure to subscribe if you're not already and click on the link below for the full interview.